Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm HexDSL. Hello there. Um, I have a motherboard. I have um, this motherboard here, the B450 Mortar Max, which is a board for my Ryzen, my Ryzen 3 600. Um, it is, it is a nice motherboard. I purchased this motherboard uh, because it's got two full speed NVMe drive thingies on, and that seemed like something I wanted. Um, it's also got this awesome Mystic Lighting Extension, which is something. I don't give two shits about. Um, I don't like, like, it's under my desk. Like, my PC is literally under my desk. Like, no one ever sees it. Um, but because it's great on there, I was like, oh, I want to be able to turn that off. Assume I can turn it off in the BIOS. No, the answer is no. You cannot turn it off in the BIOS. It's just on all the time, just being a fiery red by default, because that's the MSI logo color. Um, turns out there's this nifty little application that just lets you choose colors and do funky stuff with it. Um, and if you look in the, uh, in the in the issues here, in the wiki here, you'll even find stuff about how to make the intensity or color of the light reflect the GPU temperature. And if you've got your PC on the desk, that'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be, you know, pretty badass. Um, so what does it look like in my board? Well, um, well, first of all, if you've got it in, like, like that's what it looks like. Just It's just like, six lights on the back end of the motherboard on the foot on the opposite end to the io ports you got the io port at the back of the case here and the other end you just got this mystic light strip now that's what's built into the board but it does have this header so if you've got some of these what's it called mystic oh, let me get it straight mystic lights extension so if you've got mystic lights rgb controllers i think that's like the standard thing i think mystic lights is just the four pin wide i think that's like fairly standard i could be wrong double check that but i'm fairly certain that's just what it is right so if you've got one of those um you can just plug it into the motherboard. And the theory is in Windows, you can control this lighting with the software, right? You can control it all uh, with software. I've got, I got a better angle look. Look, that one looks nice. You can see the dust shine the light there. That's what this light does for me. It reflects my dust. Anyway, uh, so if you've got this mystic lighting, whatever, whatever you address to the lights will affect the mystic lighting as well. So if you've got a mystic lighting loop around the inside of your case, which obviously I don't and have no interest in doing, but if you do, all you'd have to do is use this awesome little application here on the window on the Let's command line. The Windows, I need said Windows command line then. Wow, what's wrong with my brain? Wow, I, yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, um, if, you, uh, if you have one of these motherboards, um, yeah, this is basically um, all the and all is all the MSI boards that have the Mystic Lighting essentially are here. But even there, it says it's like you just give a shout if you can confirm yours works or if you know you, you confirm it's not. Because I've got the uh, B450 Mortar, um, which is the small version of the Tomahawk, which is there. Then I've got the Max variant, which is not on this list, but it works anyway. Um, I think basically, as long as you've got one of these chipsets and it's the Mystic Lighting compatible controller, it'll work. So, in order to get this, you want to install, if you're on Arch Linux, MSI RGB. If you're not on Arch Linux, um, you can you can build it directly from Git. Very simple process Git clone it, go into the directory and, and cargo build it. It's done. It should, there's no reason it should fail. Then, once you're done, you run sudo. Uh, and then you like target directory, which if you're in the AUI, you can skip this bit and just type MSI RGB on the command line, like um, uh, like like there you go, like that, and it'll work fine. Um, anyway, you uh, you run this command, you know, there you go, and it'll it'll give it you. Um, I'm not good at this, but these are hex numbers. So if you've got something like uh, if you've got something like G color two, um, you can you can like work them out from there. So you can get that's how you get them on there. Um, how they mix and stuff. I'm not. I'm not a color guy. I. I really. I really couldn't tell you. Uh, but yeah, you can. Yeah, you go. And it says here, like you know, target release MSI RGB. You know, and this one here gives you a heartbeat, and this one gives you a police siren, which goes red, blue, red, blue, red, blue, and this one goes all the color. Yeah, there you go. You get the idea, guys. If you go, if you're interested in this and you want this on your system, um, you can go through all of the uh, the, the stuff in the wiki and on the issues page, and you'll find a few people have uh, have, have done this and and and, and got. I'm just seeing if there's a help file actually. Build help. There you go. Yeah, so you can minus P for pulse and X to disable. There you go. You can disable. I literally was using this the other night and I was like, why isn't there just an off button? Turns out you can just put X disable anyway, and that's that's fine there. And there's a little bit more explanation here. Uh, but yeah, um, MSI RGB, and then uh, you can just like there you go. Gives you the help. Apparently that works. Should have thought of that earlier instead of trying to work it out myself. Should have just gone with hey, is there a man? MSI GSB. Um, I'm really off the beaten track now, aren't I? Uh, RGB. There you go. There's no manual entry. Yeah, there you go. Why don't you just make a manual entry, guys? Anyway, the point is, 
it works. It's not the simplest thing to use. It's by no means, no means the easiest thing you can use. It's a little bit low level um, and you really are messing with like colors and sometimes the colors will be different to you expect because of the tone of the RGB and it's not being corrected in software. So it's very raw. Um, but if you just want, like in my opinion, if you just want to change the color lights or turn them off, this is the application to use on an MSI board. Um, there are other things as well. Like I'm currently looking at buying a new case and a new cooler and stuff. Turns out there's a few different things on GitHub that will let you do that. There's um there's lots of things. Like I'm looking at an uh, an NXT case, uh, you know, and that's got like a controller inside, and there's this thing for that as well. Um, so my point is here: if you've got RGB lights on a motherboard and it's proprietary as fuck, don't give up hope. You will find stuff in in GitHub if you're willing to look around for a bit. You'll find lots of little utilities to control water cool and stuff and lights and motherboard things. Um, and yeah, and over, they're all a bit low level, all a bit command line and you're gonna have to, you know, like like you're gonna have to get this to run when you first boot up and stuff like that. But overall I think I think that it, it's nice to see support for these things coming to Linux and being more I don't know, being not even easy to use, but being just being reliable, like reliable sorts of things working, you know? Because uh, it didn't even occur to me until after this board had been on machine weeks that I might be able to actually do something with those lights. And, you know, as it turns out, the red that's in there is actually fine. But, um, yeah, more that I've changed my aesthetics to match the color of the board lights. Uh, and, yeah, uh, to be able to turn them off is quite nice as well. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this has been useful to you. And hopefully you've got an MSI board and you go, Hex, this is amazing. Uh, yeah, you, just, you do have to run it as sudo as well because uh, obviously it's got to address the hardware directly so it won't work as a standard user. Um, I risked it. I tried it. It was fine. Uh, if ever you come to one of these things, it's like run this as sudo. You should just check the issues first and make sure there's nothing like this will blow up your machine. Don't run it. Just check for that stuff first. Obviously, and your mileage may vary and all that stuff said. But yeah, as it turns out, this is pretty cool. Um, almost wish I had an AMD cooler with a light on because I kind of like this thing. I don't know what this is, but I kind of I don't know why this is Happy Easter, but I kind of like it. Um, thanks for watching. I'm HexDSL. It's been a pleasure chatting to you today, and hopefully you'll come back and join me tomorrow. Bye said that as if i've definitely got a video tomorrow i, I don't I, I don't really have that just as maybe i'll get one made who knows bye